So you have a Huawei Mate 20 or Mate 20 Pro and ask yourself what you can do with it. In this video we're going to talk about some quick tips and tricks for the Huawei Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro. After setting up your device, use Huawei's app called Phone Clone. Install it on your old phone, connect them and transfer everything like contacts, SMS, pictures, documents, music, apps and more to your new device. Fast and easy. If your old phone is not a Huawei, you have to log into your apps again. Go to Settings, Display, More Display Settings, Notch and either decide which app should be displayed with or without a notch or just simply hide it for good if it bothers you. For dark menus, go to Settings, Battery and choose Darken Interface Colors. Here you can also activate reverse wireless charging to charge other phones or accessories wirelessly by placing them on the back of your phone. To activate the Always On Display on the Mate 20 Pro, go to Home Screen and Wallpaper, Always On Display. Unfortunately, it still won't show you more than time, date and battery life, but you can schedule it at least. In the same menu, you can also get the App Drawer back by choosing the Home Screen style. For the new navigation gestures, go to System, System Navigation, Gestures. Swipe up for Home Screen, swipe up and hold to see all open apps to activate split screen or to prevent apps from getting closed. And swipe left or right on the edges to go back. If you like, you can also set up Google Assistant to be activated by swiping up from left or right. Swipe up diagonally from the bottom sides to enter one-handed mode. It's easy once you get used to it. Activate Face Unlock by going to Security and Privacy, Face Recognition and then Unlock Device to set it up by scanning your face. Here you can also activate Direct Unlock so you don't have to swipe to unlock. You can also determine if features like App Lock should also use Face Unlock and if Eye Contact is required to unlock your device. Either way, it's super fast even in total darkness and it works from multiple angles. If you like to use the fingerprint sensor inside the display, you can simply activate it under Security and Privacy, Fingerprint ID by scanning your fingers. The position will be highlighted every time you move the phone so you can't miss it and so far it's pretty fast and reliable. Under Settings, Display, Screen Resolution, you can change the resolution of the screen. Out of the box, it's set to Smart, which automatically reduces the resolution to save battery. So on the Mate 20 Pro, you'll have Full HD Plus most of the time instead of WQHD Plus. Go back to Display to turn Auto Brightness off and on. Tap Color and Eye Comfort to change the color mode and temperature or turn on Natural Tones where the device automatically sets the white balance based on your environment so it's more comfortable to look at the display. Alternatively, you can turn on Eye Comfort to protect your eyes from blue light and to sleep better at night. I like to set a comfortable temperature and schedule it. You can also quickly turn it on in the status bar. At Settings, Digital Balance, you can turn on the Screen Time Management, which will show you how much screen time an app had during the day and lets you limit your usage so after a certain amount of hours you'll get a warning and the app will prevent you from using those apps. It can also switch to a grayscale screen to bore you away from the phone. Take a screenshot by knocking with one knuckle on the screen, record a video with two knuckles and stop it by doing it again. Go to Settings, Smart Assistant and you can enter Glove Mode, which lets you use the screen wearing gloves. You can also turn off Mistouch Prevention here if it bothers you. For an ultra-fast camera snapshot, double-click the volume button down. In the camera app, pinch your fingers together to use the new ultra-wide angle slash macro mode or go the other way around for the 5x hybrid zoom for great quality zooms. Or just tap this button. If the AI bothers you, tap the gear icon and turn off Master AI. Tap the icon on the top left for QR code, object product recognition or live translation. Choosing object recognition, you can also scan your food for estimated calories. With portrait mode, you can choose various light effects and bokeh effects. Portrait mode only works with faces and has a fixed level of bokeh. Choose aperture mode to use the portrait effect on other objects and to change bokeh and focus after the shot using this button. At night, use the night mode for the 5 seconds long exposure without a tripod for great night shots by just holding the phone with your hands. In video mode, using this magic pen you can use the new video effects like AI color which renders a real-time color pop effect on people or video portrait. Go to more, slow-mo and adjust the square to a certain position and if something moves in there after tapping the shutter button, it will record a slow motion video. Deactivating auto mode, it will directly record once you use the shutter button. You can also choose between 4, 8 and 32 times slow motion, but keep in mind that the resolution also changes. 
To enter PC mode, you can connect your phone and your monitor or TV with a USB-C to HDMI cable or go to Settings, Device Connectivity, Easy Projection to connect wirelessly if the other device supports mirror casts like you can find in many hotels. With Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, it becomes a PC. You can use both displays separately or mirror your screen. These were some quick tips and tricks for the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. If you like this video, feel free to give us a like, otherwise the dislike button is right next to it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Umit for Mobile Geeks.